Assalamu alaikum my name is Haseeb and I am the student of physics in this session we will talk about fermi gas model fermi gas model is actually a nuclear model whose picture is quite similar to the electron gas model in metals so to understand it better let's have a look at what is fermi gas fermi gas is a combination of non interacting fermions inside a potential well so here the question arises what are fermions fermions are the quantum particles like electron proton and neutron which follows the pauli's exclusion principle and the pauli's exclusion principle explains that if there is a collection of fermion particles and there is an energy level in that collection of fermions particles no more than two fermions can occupy the same energy level behind these particles there is an another class of particles called bosons which do not follow the pauli's exclusion principle it means that if we have a large number of collection of bosons particles then obviously more than two bosons particles can have same energy level the most interesting thing is that only two fermions can have same energy level and they will exist in that energy level in opposite or in different spin such a particle are called fermions since fermions are non interacting they do not interact with each other so it will resemble to a fermi gas now how the fermi gas model can be used to replicate the nuclear model here we have to make an assumption that the nuclear potential is approximated by a three dimensional finite scalar well potential since neutrons and protons are fundamentally distinct particles their potential will also be going to be different from each other neutrons interact with each other via nuclear forces while proton interact with each other through nuclear forces as well as through coulomb's repulsion now in the ground state configuration of such kind of nuclear well structure almost all the particles will try to occupy the minimum energy level and the other two particles will occupy the first energy level and the next two particles will occupy the second energy level and on and on and on so the minimum energy configuration will consist of large number of particles which fill up their energy level at a time so even at zero temperature or at ground state configuration the sum of their energies will not be zero now consider we have two neutrons which are at distinct energy levels and they are moving inside a nucleus and they come and collide they will simply exchange their energy levels with each other so classically if two particles come and collide with each other there will be only exchange in their velocities but in case of quantum particles since these two particles cannot occupy the same energy level and they are basically moving inside the nucleus so they will simply exchange their energies with each other so there will be no change in the overall energy configuration of the system so basically the collision does not create any net change in the overall energy configuration of the system so that's why we can assume that this collection of particles which consist of protons and neutrons having different energies are moving independently of each other and they are not interacting with each other so we can say that the nucleus which is very compact quantum object is a fermi gas now in the ground state configuration the highest occupied state has a certain energy and this energy minus the lowest state energy is called the fermi energy of the given system so the formula to calculate the fermi energy of the system is ef is equal to h cut square over 2m into 3 pi square rho whole power 2 by 3 so the fermi energy of neutron is 43 mega electron volt and the fermi energy of proton is 33 mega electron volt there is no doubt that the fermi energy of these two different particle is different there is a reason behind it since the number of neutrons are greater than the number of protons so the density of the neutron will be more than the density of the proton 
That's why the Fermi energy of neutron is greater than the Fermi energy of proton. Now let's talk about the successes of Fermi gas model. Since Fermi gas model assumes that the particles are bound in a potential well, then the particle will exist only in discrete or quantized energy level. The second is that it explains the pairing of proton and neutron inside the nucleus. It also gives explanation about that the even-even pairing is much more stable than the even-odd pairing and even-odd pairing is more stable than the odd-odd pairing. The last but not the least importance of Fermi gas model is that it explains the beta decay processes. The number of protons and the number of neutrons in a medium of large nuclei are not necessarily equal to each other. They have to follow the NZ graph. If any compound, if any nucleus cannot follow the NZ graph, that particular nucleus goes under beta decay processes. So as a result of beta decay process, proton may convert it into neutron or a neutron may convert it into proton. So here the question arises, why this beta decay processes occur? If we look at the energy level diagram of any stable nuclei, then it is obvious that the Fermi level of proton and the Fermi level of neutron are at the same level. But in the case of unstable nuclei, the Fermi level of proton may be higher than the Fermi level of neutron or the Fermi level of neutron may be higher than the Fermi level of proton. So this may lead to the conversion of proton to the neutron and may be possible to the conversion of the neutron and to the proton. So that was the successes of Fermi gas model. Let's summarize the whole section of the Fermi gas model. So the Fermi gas model assumes that the protons and the neutrons inside the nucleus are not interacting with each other but rather than they are moving freely inside the nuclear volume. And they are only interacting with the overall nuclear potential which resembles to the scare well potential. It further explains the beta decay processes. It explains the existence of nuclear energy level it can explain the pairing effect which leads to more stable even even structure. So that was all about Fermi gas model. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.